this is church. Eh bakit? Bakit yung mas maganda sa inyo? Nagtrabaho din naman. At nakakapunta. Ha? May mga puting book na po sila. Pero kayo wala pa. But they still have that strength. That strength that not comes from us, but the strength that comes from the Lord. We have to overcome that katamaran. We have to overcome that excuses na masakit dito doon. Dahil pag masakit po talaga, masakit po talaga. Because you are confessing it. And there is power when you say it. Amen? We have to overcome. Because even though at 85 years old, nakipaglaban pa rin si Caleb, para lang makuha ang kung ano yung pre-namis sa kanya. Amen? Siguro habang naglalakad siya papunta sa mountain, sabi niya, I want that mountain! I want my promise to be fulfilled in me. Amen? Sino dito ang masaya habang papunta dito sa church? Kumakad na kanta dahil gusto natin makakapit ng something from God na ayaw natin lumabas dito na luhaan. We want victory. We want something new. We want something change in us. Amen? Kaya mo binulumpahin ang bay. Be there. Amen? Sinanay nga. Ilang taon na sinanay. Nakagraduate pa. Samantala kayo, nag-a-absent pa. Hello? Nakakatatlong ano ka na. Nakakatatlong ano na tayo ha. Dapat magsigasig. Kailan ka magsisigasig? Pag wala ka na talagang maibigay? When we are still young, we have to use it. Amen? Batch 23 na ha. Nasa batch 3 ka pa rin. Nasa batch 3 ka pa na nasa batch 23 ka pa. Hindi ba? Huwag naman sana pabutin yung Lord ba? No? Kaya, pag sinabing may pag-aaral, mag? Aaral! Para hindi mahirapan ang mga teacher. Kami make up sa'yo. Mahal ang make up kit. Amen? Tapos teacher pa ang nagpapalibli sa'yo magkape. No? Teacher, sige, mag-aaral tayo. Alibri mo ako, ha? Ganyan tayo ka-generous dito. Praise God! Amen! Ganyan tayo kamahal ng mga teacher natin. Basta, makagraduate lang, sige. No. Pinagsisigapan. It is because we love God. We want to serve God. Hindi yun dahil sa pagod-pagod or whatever. Pag mayroon tayo, pag ito ang dinagda, go, 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 go. Amen? Magsigasig. Amen? Wala pa hapon natin ang Panginoon. And then, this is what Caleb did after after he reflect, ah, meron pa lang promise sa akin. Then, Caleb request. Sino dito humingi na ng request? Ano ang mga hinihingi natin na request sa Panginoon na ibinigay naman ng Panginoon sa atin? Amen? Sabi the one sa Joshua 14.12 Now therefore give me this mountain of which the Lord spoke in the day. For you heard in that day how the Anakim were there and that the city were great and fortified. It may be that the Lord will be with me and I shall be able to drive him out as the Lord said. Pag sinabi ng Panginoon, you will drive him out, it will happen. Amen? Amen? Pag sinabi ng Panginoon, yes, it is for you. This land is for you. It will surely be for you. Amen? Amen? Walang questions. Dahil 
ibibigay niya talaga yun sa atin. Amen? Kaya, dapat, paminsan-minsan nagre-request na tayo. Pag sinabi ang Panginoon, alam mo, ito yung gusto kong gawin. Lord, di ba sinabi mo to? Give it to me. Amen? Sa lakas ng 85 anyos, 85 years old, he is still going for a war. Amen? Kaya kahit bata pa tayo while we were still young, and at this age na kaya pa natin pumunta dito, magtrabaho tayo sa Panginoon. Na hindi natin mararanas ng kanyang mga promise sa atin hanggang hindi po natin talaga pinagtratrabahuan dito. Amen. Being saved is not just about coming to the church and sit down. It's all about working with it. Pinagtratrabaho ang puya. It is free, but we have to work for it. Amen? Kaya, na-request niya. At nung nag-request siya, he concurred it. Naranasan niya ang pagkilos ng Panginoon. That's why Caleb received the promise of God. Sino dito ang gusto makareceive? Amen. Then you will receive this very day. Amen. What God has promised you. Amen. You will have the promises of God be fulfilled in your life. Ang kailangan niyo lang gawin, ang kailangan lang natin gawin is to believe and have faith on it na sinyabi niya po talaga yun sa atin. Amen? Kaya doon sa 13 and 14 sabi niya, and Joshua blessed him and gave Hebron to Caleb the son of Jephone as an inheritance. Hebron therefore become the inheritance of Caleb the son of Jephone the Kinesite to this day, because the because he another another word holy followed the Lord God of Israel. Bakit kaya talaga talaga na ng prayer na to hindi ko parin talaga marisig risig? Bakit hindi tayo sumusunod sa Panginoon? Kasi yun ang keyword eh, yun ang password eh. If we wanted to receive something. Then we have to fully follow the Lord. At ano ang binigay ng Panginoon kay Galim? Hebron. You know what is the word Hebron? It is a fellowship. Fellowship with the Lord. That mountain is the fellowship of God with Galim. Have you received your Hebron in your life? Where you meet God? When you have a relationship with God, kung saan naranasan mo ang kanyang pagkinos. Because when Caleb conquered Hebron, he received it and he experienced the mighty hand of God. Amen? So, asan na yung mga mountain natin? Asan na yung mga promised land na gusto natin makamit? Makuha! Naranasan na ba natin ang pagkilos ng kamay ng Panginoon sa atin? When was the last time? Kailan yung last? God wants us to be blessed in every day of our life when we were still here. Gusto niyang maranasan niya. Maranasan natin siya habang nandito pa tayo sa mundo ito. Yung kanyang pagkilos, yung paano siya. Kapag yung how loving he is, how gracious he is, gusto niyang maranasan niya na, natin yun. May mga problema tayo, he wanted us to be delivered from it. Kung may mga pagkukulang natin, may mga pagkukulang tayong gusto ta niya tayo ma-feel, ma-provide. 
kailangan lang talaga natin is to receive. Amen? Receive it. Receive it. This very morning, ngayong umaga na ito or yung mga nakaraang araw, have you entered your kina? Naka-enter na po ba tayo sa ating mga kanaan? Kung kailan, pinamis ng Panginoon, yes, you will enter that promised land. The promised land I prepare for you. Because kung naka-enter na po tayo noon, sabi doon, nung na-receive ni Caleb ang kanyang promised land, he said, then the land had rest from what? Kailan niyo na-feel na nagkaroon kayo ng rest? Hello? When you receive your promise, God will give you rest. When God fulfilled His promise, He will give you rest. Because He do not want us to wander in the wilderness. He wants us to have peace. That is the time when you receive your promise. It is not about big things. It is not about too much money. It is not about work. It is not about position, power, or anything. It is about the rest that comes from life. Kapahingahan nagmumula sa kanya. Amen? Kapahingahan nagmumula sa iyo. Because if we feel that kapahingahan, we know that we are in the presence of God. Obstacles. 
close in us. Kaya hindi natin makamit-gamit ang ating mga kainahan. We have to remember while we sing this song that God is a God of miracles. A way maker, a promise keeper. All we have to do is just to worship Him. And let, and let Him be the God of our lives. wanted to have Hebrew in your life. This is just the moment just to come near to God and say, yes, Lord, I am here. I wanted to receive that promise. And when I receive that, I'm going to live in it. Not to live in it because you wanted or we wanted to enjoy it, but because we wanted God to be glorified. Amen.
you will restore us. You will make a new wine skin on us. That you may continue to look favor upon us, favor from favor to favor, Panginoon. Because Lord, we will